Hi, I'm Ashley from Crinkly Quilts. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the templates to cut your fabric for the little Holland quilt. So there are four templates for this pattern. There are two convex or outward curved pieces, the A and the B, and then the two concave pieces or inward curved pieces, the C and the D. For this quilt pattern, you can buy the PDF, which has printable templates, and you can print those at 100% scale. Test that one inch test square to make sure everything came out the correct size. Or you can get the uh, acrylic templates in my shop. That is linked in the description below. Now, if you use the acrylic templates, I suggest the Odif Grippy Non-Slip Coating Spray. It makes it so that your templates do not shift while you cut your fabric. And then I also recommend using a regular 45 millimeter blade and having a smaller 18 millimeter blade to get in these little scoopies right here. All right, let's get started. We're gonna start by cutting our A template. I'm going to place my template with my fabric folded in half, selvages at one end, at the selvage edge, I'm going to place that straight edge where I can just slice off that selvage. Then I just cut my curve. So there I have two A's. Now I'm just going to flip my template 180 degrees get nice and tight to that previous cut and slice away. Continuing, I just flip my template again. Then continue to flip. You should get at least nine, but probably 10 A's per width of fabric. Now we're gonna cut our B template. So I have my width of fabric right here folded in half, selvages at one end. And I'm just gonna get my B close to the selvage with the flat edge aligned with either the top or the bottom of my fabric and then I'm going to use the smaller blade to cut this scoop. So now I have two B's. Then I flip my template 180 degrees, get nice and tight to the previous cut and cut it out. And then I just continue doing that, flipping the template back and forth to make the most out of my width of fabric. And you'll get 10 bees per width of fabric. Now we're gonna cut our template C. So like template A, you're gonna get your flat edge close to your selvages. And then using your rotary cutter, cut that out. Now I like to use my little blade to cut the scoop. And there I have two C's. I'm gonna flip my template over 180 degrees, getting nice and tight to that previous cut. Go ahead and cut that scoop out. Shift it a little bit. All right, continuing down, I flip my template 180 degrees again, and then I'm gonna cut that scoop out. And you should get 14 C templates per width of fabric. Lastly, we're gonna cut our D template. This one, you're gonna have your fabric folded in half, and then down at the selvage edge, we're gonna line up our template. 
and just cut that off. Now this scoop is pretty dramatic, so it can be kind of tricky. You can either using a water soluble pen or fabric marking tool, mark this and then use scissors by hand to cut it out. Or I'm going to just use my little blade and kind of go halfway one way and then the other halfway the other way and cut that out. And there, now I have two Ds. Two. Okay, and then this one is just easy. You just place the template right next to that previous cut and you just cut it out. There you go. Now you should get eight Ds per width of fabric. To sew the A and C curves for this pattern, Start with your pieces pinned as in the pattern instructions. Adjust your fabric as needed as you sew along the curve. Make sure to take your time. I like to use a stiletto in order to get my edges to line up perfectly. The BD curves for this pattern are a little trickier. Pin just as the pattern instruction describes and then start on one end. I again like to use my stiletto to keep my fabric adjusted throughout the sewing and really take your time to make sure that there are no pleats or tucks as you sew. So now that we've pieced our blocks and I've trimmed them, I just want to show you that when you trim them, make sure that you have one quarter inch from your um, A piece to the edge of your C piece right here and right here. And then also one quarter inch on your B D piece on the edges right here, as well as from the top of your half circle to the top of your piece. All right, that's it. I hope you enjoy making this quilt. Again, everything is linked in the description below and happy sewing.